I'd like to show you another way of choosing a random sample using a, a very important feature of Excel. In the previous video, I had an extra column at the front here with a random number generated, which I could then sort into order and thereby choose a random set of these cars. In this video, all I'm keeping is the, uh, the unique identifier number, which I created, just numbering from 1 to 4,449, the, the rows in my data set. And to do this, though, I'm going to start a new sheet. This is sheet 4, which is blank at the moment. And I've got a column here called a random ID. And this means I get to choose a random number between 1 and 4,449, and that will correspond to a random row. So how do I get it to choose a random number? I could just type in Excel, give me a random number. Um, and obviously, starting to type a command is a good way to learn what commands are out there. I would like a random number between 1 and 4,499, so the random between function sounds good. I'm pressing tab to choose it, and it's now asking for the bottom and the top. I could just type 1 and 4,449. Uh, and you can see it's given me a random number between those two numbers. It's a very useful, obvious function. If, just for example, you didn't know what the maximum number of data uh, points in your set was, you could actually do something quite neat here. You could just type in max and then give it a reference to the data you want to use, which is going back to this sheet uh, and choosing that column. And you can see it said maximum of this, this original sheet, which has got a complicated name, and column A. And I'm closing that maximum function. And I'm also going to close the bracket for the uh, rand between function. And so that formula is now choosing a random number between 1 and the maximum number in that column. And if I press return, you can see it's done the same thing. But the formula is now looking a bit more complicated. And I didn't need to know how many data points were there. Let's say, just for the sake of this example, I only want 10 uh, random cars chosen. So I could choose, I could copy that down, and I've got 10 random numbers picked. Just like before, though, this is a random command. It will recalculate it if you ask the spreadsheet to recalculate. So pressing F9 will give you new numbers. And you can fix that by copying those numbers and pasting them over the top as values, as is in the previous video. Uh, that's the first step. I'm choosing some random things. What I'd like to do now, I could just go and look up the 1,369th element in here. That's a bit of a pain, so I'm going to get that to happen automatically. Uh, and I'm going to do that in the next video. Before we leave this video, it's important to recognize that the random between command has a potential problem in that there's no way that this cell knows what's happening in this cell, so they could have chosen the same number. It is possible using this method to get repeats of your data, which the previous method about sorting the data is not going to do because all the data is there uniquely. But for example, that chose 1,369. It's possible that elsewhere in your sample, the random number generator could also choose 1,369 again, and it would be quite hard to spot without doing something a little bit more uh, complicated um, with a small sample though it's going to be obvious if that happens so just bear that in mind